have a message for you for this morning. You ready? The first Sunday we are you're, um, preaching here about hope. The second, we are preaching about joy. And this morning, we are preaching about peace. Where's the peace? Where you find the peace? Where I buy the peace? One doctor, his name is Wilson. He's traveled from many, many countries, cultures, to find peace and the uh, top the mountains and the locations and have uh, rich peoples and the location have a poor peoples and the different kind people situations el elders everything is different he travel many years and uh, interview many people many families businessmen homeless everybody to try to discover the peace where's the peace and the end of this years by years to try to interview and the soul see how it's going on and the North American South American Europe everybody everything he tried to find peace where's the peace where you find peace who the real people has the peace. And the end, he wrote something like that. I don't find the real peace. But let me tell you something, beginning for everything today. You can go north, south, up, down. Rich locations, poor locations, fun locations, quiet locations. But you'll find only peace when you find Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul and part of his life and the legacy give us passage. In Philippi, in Philippians, chap chapter 4, in the regarding how to experience the God peace, God presence, and time struggle, and the presence of pain and anguish. Well, it's easy for Paul to say after he was apostle, but Paul give us this word, inspired the Holy Spirit, of course. But he is not a Mediterranean cruise. He is, was not in the Cancun and in one hotel five star. No. When did Paul give us this word? He is not in the Starbucks, drink coffee, uh, caramelo bocchiato. And they wrote something and say something. No. He was in prison. And wrong. He's a writing for Christian at the Philippi. Who experienced persecutions and depressions in his life. And their lives. And the very real the problems and depressions in him. And the, his Paul is not in public. This Paul here is not in his office. Paul here is in the prison. You know it's the kind of prisons for this time when the Paul re, re, uh, give this word for us. The prisons not like today. You don't have air conditioners or something like that. Food like today. The prisons are so hard. And the Paul, he's there in prison when he wrote the, for this verse, for this word. We know the prisons of other kinds. 
When I studied the Bible about the verse, the Philippines, Philippines. Some of you today are in dark, dangerous depressions. Some of you were behind the walls, loneliness. Or alteration by fear and the feel like change your circumstances. Well, but let's go see and the one guy, he is in the prison. And the prisons like Paul, he does not have a space. He can walk. He don't do nothing. Why he is there? Because he preached gospel. He preached the truth. He gave hope. And the guys put him in the, in the prison home. And what did he say? And kind of this situation. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Do you think about what the situation? He's no in Starbucks, guys. He's no in what hotel five star. He's in the prison. He's in the bad situation. He's doing everything right. He's doing everything changing his life. And the rest, when he's received Jesus, now he's in the prison. Look at this verse. And this that if you live in peace, if you live in peace, should rejoice in the Lord's presence. Rejoice. And the Lord always. He spoke of the fullness. Enjoy. It's enjoy. And the more enjoy. Who enjoy in prisons? Who can be happy in prison? Paul was in prison. But his was his was not there alone. Can you say it, man? This is talking about the real presence of the Lord. Paul is his hand. Paul will say, the Lord is here with me. I'm here. And Jesus is here with me. I'm not alone. Jesus said, like this in Matthew 28, 20, he said, I'll be with you always. It's the promise of Jesus. He said in Hebrew 13, 5, I will never ever leave you, forsake you. Isaiah 41, 10, fear or not, I will. by yourself guys but he is there with you some people in hard situation in the world depression world the struggle situations can have an answer for everything let me tell you something you are not alone God is with you Enjoy and then again enjoy because he has the peace. This is the reason that, that we can say I have a peace in all things in my life, in your life. day by day situation by situation problems by problems victories by victories you're not alone when do you understand when you know about that you can't say like Paul say I'm in prison wrong but enjoy I can't enjoy because I have a 
the real peace inside me. I would like you to close your eyes right now. Everybody, please close your eyes. Listen what I say right now. Please close your eyes. Deeper you can. <laughs> you and God alone. Jesus with you. Jesus with you. When I walk through deep water. Change. And they give it to you, peace. You're gonna be sleeping again. No. 
this morning bring for this church peace peace for your life peace for your family peace for your house peace for your job because he is with you it's not done to you. Now I'm going to be shy. I would like you stand up where? Stand up if it's a word to speak to you true. I would like to pray for you. Come on. God have a peace for you this morning. He changed. You're going to be smiling again. The hand come back into your life. John 15 11 he say I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full completely only in God we have a completely full and joy and peace The peace is real. The joy. You have to continue to show up in your life, in your face. With Jesus, is completely. That your joy may be full. And you say, okay, Pastor Fabrice. And so, it's lay in my circumstances, baby, not be joyful. It's not. And we are not happy all the time. We are not happy all the time. This is true. We are happy. We are happy in Him all the time. Because He has given us Peace and joy and hope. And John 14, 27, the Bible said, the Bible say, Peace, I live with you. He said, my peace, I give to you. Whoa. You don't have peace in drugs. We don't have a peace in clothes. You don't have a peace in games. You don't have a peace. And, but we are in Jesus. We are His peace. I can say every day. Pastor. How can I find this peace? Every day in my life. Every day by my day. Where? You have to practice. The living presence of Jesus in your life. When you practically live in the relationship with Jesus, that means real to you. Paul said, Paul said, I am jail, but Jesus, he with me. Think, they, they could lock Paul up. 
Let me say again. They could lock Paul up. But they could not lock Jesus out. You got it? Jesus was in the jail. And the Jesus is the mirror for your storms. And the Bible said the great Israel, the three Hebrews, and the refused to bow down the king. This name is so hard for us to say. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. His constructions, idols, mages, and for people worship, this is idols. And he say, if you don't not bow down, going to through the furnace. And these three guys say, well, that's fine. I'm still known. Bow down. We are not bound down for these idols. So, what happened? They threw them in the furnace. And the Bible says he put the furnace three, ten times more than usual, more hard. And they took these three boys there. Last time the three guys over there, the king is looking, is over there, and the three guys over there, he knows so three. He's so four. Hallelujah. The Bible don't say this is teenagers like if you don't do that, it's no bow down. You go straight to the furnace. I the Bible don't say like that. He's like shake like this. Oh, let's go wrong. No. What the Bible say in Daniel 3:17? The Bible say if you throw in the, the furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from that. And he will deliver us from your measured him. What does guy say? Okay, you throw uh, you throw us there. Okay, if you God no, if you God wanted to take us out, okay. But if not, okay too. Only people have a peace. Do that. Believe that. This is the peace. When we believe that Jesus Christ says, I give my peace for you. When you believe that, no matter circumstances, no matter happenings in my life, take me out. Why the people come to the church and stop to come to the church or stop to follow Jesus? Why? Not because not discovers the real peace. I have to practice every day in my life. Day by day, moment by moment, I have to have relationship with my Lord. People ask me a lot, Fabricio, why you have a lot of energy? <laughs> I almost 40, guys. Woo! I'm like 20. Okay, that's fine. Believe it's come from God. I have, you have, I straight for God of Jesus in my life. I have got much energy. I have a, I have a, this is not because of me or because I drink a lot of head books. If because of him, if because of his life, start praising Jesus. 
Start to worship Jesus. Start to rejoice in Jesus. His word, his truth to guide me. I have a filter in Jesus. I have a hope in Jesus. I have a celebration in Jesus. I have a family. I have a friends. And it's just normal inside like do. Maybe you suffering. You may be hurt. You feel like you are in prison. But the Lord is with you. Maybe you say, I, lo I lose my peace. You don't lose your peace. Because your peace is Jesus in your life. Maybe you hear me this morning, you see me repeat so many times for this. When I wrote that, I asked Jesus, why you have to repeat this so many times? Because you go out these doors and they say, I have a peace because Jesus is with me. I have a peace because Jesus is with me. I have a peace because Jesus is with me. No, because I'm doing. But no, because I have. No, because I'm doing that. No, I have a peace because Jesus is with me. That's it. It's a more for everything describable. I can I can't, I can't, I don't have a word to say what the peace is of Jesus. I, I have one word, it's close. This word is, is a miracle. It's a miracle. How's everything? Maybe in the house, maybe fire. Maybe the husband hungry. Maybe the wife don't clean the house. I don't know. Maybe something in the life that lose that job. Wow, how are you? You say, I'm okay. Wow, well, you okay? Is it really? Yes, I'm okay. But I know you lose your job. I know you're sick. I know you don't have an answer. Why you have a peace? Answer, I have a Jesus. He handled everything in my life. I'm here for today, but tomorrow I don't know because he hand my hand, your hand, and the end to take. Come on, come on, you know alone. Come on, peace, peace with Jesus. Some people understood the peace when I have a fight or peace, it's not upset. Absent the storms, but is the presence of Jesus in the storms. In. Sometimes Jesus don't take you out the furnace very hot. Sometimes he take you over there. Woo! I'm really with you. I show you. When you don't understand this, one word comes like boom, 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 and his mind. Why? 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 Do, why this in my life? Why this? Why? 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 The peace is real. The peace is real, guys. People spend a lot of money to stay in one location, quiet, silence. But there, it's not have a peace. People spend a lot of money to travel this world.
people spend money to buy special drinks, expensive champagne. But his past and another day continue no peace. I would like to invite you to make one relationship with Jesus in your family, in your job, in your life. Start to do it in your house like a service. Like open your Bible with what, what, your wife, your, your husband. Families change the direction for God. When, it's, when the family is together, everybody in the note for is best telephony and the word. Everybody in the phone. When I sit in the table, he's turned on the TV. No talking. Nothing. You have a time to ask your son or your daughter, how is school today? What are you doing there today? Tell me. Day by day pass when it's so the house like don't have a peace. Everybody fight. And he says, ah, what do you say? Ah, ah. Something, throw something. <laughs> why? Why you wanted peace, but you know, follow the words of God. He will to give it to you. He say, I give to you. What do you have to do? I like this. Okay, it's mine. He don't say, I give it to you if, if, if. No, he say, I give to you my peace. Okay, it's mine. I'm sleeping. Bring peace for your house. Bring peace for your history. Bring peace for your day. Bring Jesus Christ. Bring Jesus. Bring Jesus. Only the people, when they bring Jesus for his history, he can say, enjoy in the prison. Like Paul said. I would like you to stand up, please. I would like to pray one more time for this morning.